Home is less than three hours away, but the only way for Ahmed to get in touch with loved ones he left behind in Niala is to pen a handwritten message. Niala is one of Sudan's most populated cities. Nearly five months into the war, it's still in the grips of intense fighting between the military and the RSF paramilitary group. Even at the start of the fighting, it was hard to get in touch with people in other neighborhoods inside Niala. I was able to call home for five or six seconds before the line cut off. Now you wait a week for a letter to arrive, and you can't be sure whether it will get there. And if it does, there's no guarantee that they can send one back. The road to Niala and back is treacherous, and the messengers can't always make it. The fighting has taken a toll on the infrastructure in the city, including its water, phone, and electricity networks. After telecommunication services were cut off between East Darfur and South Darfur, we started getting a lot of letters and messages written by relatives of residents. So we send drivers to deliver these messages. And usually the recipient immediately writes a response and hands it back to the driver before he leaves. Though tens of thousands of people remain trapped in Niala, which is the capital of South Darfur, many others have fled. Over 10 days alone during the month of August, up to 50,000 people fled the violence in the city, according to the UN. Just last week, 39 civilians, most of them women and children, were reportedly killed in shelling on their homes, according to witness reports and medics in the city.